Hello and welcome to another episode of the Runes of Aerial Devlog. And today I'll be going to implement with you this prayer um, card. And the prayer card, uh, let me see here what it does. If a creature dies this turn, gain one energy next turn, or two energy next turn, or three energy next turn, depending on the level of the card. So let me start by doing some configuration of the card here. Um, so the cost is one, of course. We're not going to remove an after use, so there's no damage involved, and no shield, not fragile, not drawing any cards, and, but there is a special function. And how will we call that? Um, energy on death. For example, let's call it that one. I'm going to copy paste that for a future reference. And that energy will be one, two, or three, depending on the, uh, the level. No discarding of other cards, no venom, no energy, no fire, no losing health, not innate. Mm -hmm. So, a sound. Mm, let's see, what sound shall we give it? Spell 80. Yeah, spell 18 will be good, spell 18, spell 18, let's do this. Um, let's give it the flash effect. So card type, it's a skill card. Not a special enemy type, not remove a random card and a target mode is none, of course, because it's just doing a skill. So I think that's about correct. The only thing we need to do now is uh, implement energy on death here. But before we do that, I need to do some configuration, of course. I'm going to add it to the config. Prayer. Is it prayer or prayer is prayer? Okay. Prayer added to the configuration because otherwise we won't be able to see it in the library or configure it in our deck. Okay, and then for the probability tables, let me just search for those probability tables that contain cards. It's called crafting, crafting. Um, box. Man, I have a lot of probability tables. Here we are. So, copy that and let's see. No, wrong. Prayer. Oh, we need to close in parentheses. Closing quotes, rather. And then we still need loot, of course. Great. More loot level 2, more loot for level 3, more loot for level 4, and then here. Okay. So that's some plumbing, some configuration, and now let me see. So re energy on death. If a creature dies this turn, we need one energy. So whenever we play this card, we need to set some indicator that whenever a creature dries, the energy has to be set next turn. So it's a, a waterfall mechanism. First we indicate that it needs to happen, and then when it happens, we indicate what next, what, what action has to be taken next. So that's the delay energy. So in essence, we're going to have to have some flag or some indicator that this card has been played. So whenever a creature dies, we can check that indicator and we can give it a delayed energy. Because giving energy next turn, we already have something like that. It's called delayed energy. So let me go here and search that. Delayed energy. Something like that. Here we have it. Delayed energy. So this delayed energy um, um, is an indicator that says, okay, the next turn you have to have an extra set of energy. So I'm going to have another global here, D, 
that's called, for example, um, death related energy boost, for example. Death related energy boost. So now we're going to go to here and uh, energy on death. And then we go to go to use card here. Use card. And we can just copy and paste that because, for example, this is a good one. The late shield. So if the cost function is, I just copied my energy on death here. If the special function is energy on death, what we need to do is we don't set the delayed shield, we set this new variable death related energy boost to this value, the special cost value. So that's been done. The energy on death has been checked and this is here, this is done. So now we need to check when an enemy dies. So here in enemies, Oh, boom, boom, boom. Uh, and we get damage and then if I apply damage so enemy death so there should be an enemy death command function let's see command function for enemy death uh, enemy death here we are um and here at the end we can add a check compared to values uh, death related energy boots equals bigger than zero then we set the value to uh er delayed energy delayed energy delayed energy where is it delayed energy to death related energy boost that's it. Uh, no. We need to do delayed energy plus because there can be two enemies dying at the same time, so then we need that energy boost twice. All right. And then when the next turn happens, so now when the enemy dies, we set delayed energy. And the next turn happens, the delayed energy will be taken into account. So let's search again for delayed energy. Yeah. And search for the references. And boom, 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 boom. Indeed, in the next turn of the delayed energy, we play the effect energy, and then we say the energy plus delayed energy. That's what we do here. And of course, when the turn ends, what we should do is we say um, oh, the delayed energy is zero. Yeah, that's it actually. I think that's it. All right, let's test that. No battle. I want the um, sandbox. This one here. All right, we can start this. And let's start with a starter deck. And remove some stuff from the starter deck so we can add the rare card to be in here somewhere. Uh, well, it's off battle, so uh, should be in here. So, why is it not? Good question. Oh, because probably 
the number of cards and available cards, the number of placeholders is running out here. That's probably going to be it. Okay, so then we need card management, of course. How many cards can there be? So there can be forty eight cards. Are there really forty eight cards already? Let me check. Forty eight cards should be in here in the configuration. That's about ten. Yep, it's going to be 48. Great. All right, so let's copy paste that. Put it about right. And now go to the card management. Show the hierarchy. Yes, here we are. So we can. Add the hierarchy here. Add that. That. Great. So this is 48. This should be 49. 50. 51. 52. Save that thing and now go back into the sandbox and try again. So here we get the starter deck, it's just the starter deck. So prayer, here we have it. So let's get rid of some stuff here. And add some prayers. Okay, oh, except, and then choose random three with low health. Okay, let's make it Joanne. Okay, and then we say prayer as a preset. Save that thing and start. All right. Fight. Oh. What did we do wrong? There's something wrong. Prayer. Three random. Mm. Start game. Uh, where did I go wrong? Exactly. Good question. Alright, so off camera I've been <laughs> searching for something and the, the, the thing is just I've, I've done something wrong in the configuration of the probability table. See, I would pass the JSON file. So I'm going to, going to search everywhere we find the word prayer and this needs to be an extra comma in here. Wrong again, comma, find, find, next to comma, find, 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 next to comma, find, find. Okay. So that's a bit weird behavior, of course, because you wouldn't say that that would be the problem, so it's a good idea to always check your JSON, do a beautified check or a simplified check to see if the JSON is well formed. So, at long last, let's go to the uh, sandbox, choose prayer, start game, and now it should do something. 
Yay, it starts. So we have a prayer. Flash. Okay, and now we're gonna kill an enemy. And then we should have some more energy. Kill that one. Okay. So we start off with three energy normally. So now we should have four energy the next time. See, we got four energy because we got delayed energy. Um, so that seems to be working. Great. Um, so that was a really simple card to implement if it was to be from my little boo boo uh, configuring the probability tables here with, uh, with the silly comma it would have been implemented like in like under 15 minutes or something so uh, that was a really uh, simple card to implement and I'm glad we did it together so you can learn uh, how uh, I ex you have how I extend the game how I make extra cards I make this game as easy as possible I make it ex so extendable as possible to um, uh, make it as generic as possible so that in the future I can add extra cards add extra scrolls and stuff like that as easy as that so I hope you liked it. Please like, please subscribe and see you next time.